Hi, this is Deltra Coin from the uh, Healthy Place Relationships blog, and today I'm going to talk about dating and relationships and emotion regulation when you have um, a mental illness. In my case, it's bipolar disorder. So um, I wrote in my last post that I met a guy that I was interested in named Eric, and um, so I'm interested in dating him, and for me, the dating process leads to a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety, and for me, that's like the beginning of a manic episode. You have a lot of anticipation, you have a lot of anxiety about what's going to happen in the future, and that feels like a trigger to me, which is kind of why I don't like dating, because it has a lot of uncertainty, and so um, it's difficult for me to manage my expectations and regulate my emotions in a situation that is stressful about the future and stress for me is a big trigger for my disease. Then the other part of dating or beginning of a dating relationship is about the ups and downs either of dealing with the relationship or the you know, maybe the negative consequences. Someone that you're interested in isn't interested in you, or you have a breakup. And that really leads to a lot of what did I do wrong, what happened, sort of a lot of living in the past, which leads to depression. And so for me, that's a, a similar trigger, is that when you sort of weighed yourself in the negative details about things that have happened to you before and you've lived in this point of negativity, it is a lot like um, a bipolar depression in that the ruminating is what gets you to that place. So um, you can understand why I don't really like dating and I haven't dated in a while. But I realized recently with this situation with Eric where I'm trying to be more healthy in, my, in all my relationships, particularly in dating relationships, because I would like to start dating again, it's less about outcomes and less about putting shoulds all over myself and less about working myself up into anxiety or working myself down into depression and really more about living in the moment and being present and experiencing my emotions and having my emotions when I have them and part of that with me in terms of managing my bipolar disorder and managing my triggers and also in terms of kind of anticipating a relationship with another person is recognizing that I have whatever emotion I have, recognizing that it is indeed a valid emotion to have, and then doing something about it. Um, in this particular case, what I decided to do yesterday is not be passive aggressive but to send an email to Eric and tell him that I was interested in dating him instead of what I might have done in the past, which is passive aggressively invite him to a party that a hundred other people are going to so that I don't put myself out there and face the rejection. So what I decided to do today was to be very adult and to say, yes, I'm interested in you and I had a lot of anxiety before I sent that email, but Throughout the course of the day, I've realized that I did what was healthy, which is I acknowledged my feelings. I didn't run away from them. I didn't turn them into something else like sarcasm or humor or passive aggression. I acknowledged exactly what they were. And I feel pretty good about myself for having done that. I'm not really sure what's going to happen in the future. Actually, before I started recording this video, I noticed that I had an email response from Eric. And I'm still able to sit here and record this video and talk about this and try to breathe and realize it's not about the outcome, but it's about the fact that I behaved in a way that I'm proud of, that I'm not regretful over. So even if I'm disappointed by the outcome and he doesn't want to date me, at least I know that I've done the right thing. And my depression, if it happens, my, it won't be because I regret something that I did or regret something that I didn't do, but it will be an acknowledgement of my disappointment and my ability to move on. So I wonder what other people think, um, people who suffer from mental illness, if they think that dating is a trigger um, and it really um, brings out a lot of their symptoms. I'd be interested in hearing what people have to say, and hopefully you'll comment. Thanks a lot. Bye.